Hey guys, welcome to Montana Haven. What I'm doing is um, I'm making some easy and simple cherry pies for a fundraiser. So I thought I would take you guys along with me and show you how simple it is to make a couple cherry pies. So first thing is I'm gonna put the crust together. And now I don't too often make the crusts. Often I will just cheat and buy some crusts and just make the filling and put it in. But this time I'm gonna be making the crust. I'm gonna be doing three pies. So I have here six cups of organic pastry flour that I'm gonna put in. And then I have almost two teaspoons of salt, sea salt. And then I also found this lard in our local grocery store. And normally I just use butter because I think it's healthier. But I saw this and I thought, well, it's for a fundraiser, I'm gonna try it. So we're gonna, it's, we're gonna see how this turns out. Hopefully it'll turn out really well. And it takes all of this lard, it's I think um, two cups of it. Oh, then I also have, um, also have this two third cups of water. That I put in like cold water. It said it doesn't have to be ice water. I have clean hands by the way. I am gonna mix it all up until it's crumbly and so now I'm gonna mix in my water and I'm not sure if this is enough. It said only two-third cup but we'll see. It doesn't take a lot. And just mix it until it's all moistened. So it is still pretty crumbly. Just to, I, I think it needs more water, so I'm gonna add more water. So I have another two-third cup, but I'm just gonna put in a little bit at a time. And now we're gonna start and get these pies into shape. Just use this leftover flour here that I spilled and I'm gonna put on some more flour. I'll grab a, some little bit of dough here. It almost seems like it might be a little too stiff. I'm gonna fold this this pie dough over in half and then I just flip it onto my pie plate right in the center there and flip it over and um, just press it nicely in here so here I have my knife my butter knife and I just cut right along the edge cut off this this leftover crust. And there we have a beautiful pie crust. Hopefully it'll taste as good. Okay, so I'm just gonna be doing the rest of these crusts. Okay, we've got the, the crusts all in the pans, and now I'll show you my filling. Um, I actually made my cherry pie filling already, so you won't be seeing me make it, but I'll explain to you a little bit what I did. Here I have my cherry pie filling. Doesn't that look good? Oh, it was almost coming out of there. 
but it tastes really good. It's tart and sweet, and uh, it's extremely simple to make. Um, maybe I'll link the recipe down below, or I'll have it up here on the corner somewhere for you. Um, but it's literally just cherries, frozen cherries, um, sugar, and some cornstarch. And you mix it all together in a pan and heat it up. And, um, and then you can add, I actually always add a little almond flav flavoring and also a pinch of salt. Also, I add a little, like a tablespoon of butter. I just think it just gives it slightly creamy flavor. Beautiful, beautiful pies. Hopefully they'll look as good when I'm done. It's just perfect. So now I will be doing the top of the pie. It's gonna be re-rolling out some dough for the top and then I'll show you how I put it on top. So here I have one top here and I'm just gonna put in uh, the letter C for cherry so that they know what it is. Just kind of in slashes. Before I put it on, I, I dip my fingers into water and just kind of smear the top of the crust here so that it'll stick. ready to put on my last top and then we are almost done let's get these in the oven dirty here. I just take my fingers, my two fingers here and my other finger <laughs> and just punch them to make this a nice scalloped edge. I am not a professional at baking at all. I never took lessons except just watching my mom and my older sisters. So I just do what I know and it usually turns out pretty good. So here is one done, and now I am going to put a milk wash on top. Just gives it a little bit of a glossy finish. I think an egg wash would be great too, but this is what I'm doing for now. Hopefully it'll turn out. And then last, I'm going to sprinkle on some granulated sugar just to give it that good looking effect.
Okay, we are done and they are ready to get in the oven. Okay, I've got them in the oven and they will be baking for a while and I will get my mess cleaned up. Okay guys, these pies are out of the oven and I must say, I think they look quite amazing. The crust is just perfectly browned on top. Just this golden color and hopefully they will now taste as good as they look. So I am going to have my hubby give them a, a taste test at dinner tonight. Look at this amazing meal that Priscilla made for us. Wow, that's incredible. <laughs> Challah bread, cherry pie, <laughs> stew, amazing. We're gonna have you test taste the cherry pie. Okay. I'm sure it's gonna be delicious. Okay, we are gonna see if this is hubby approved. So that stew was definitely hubby approved. <laughs> now we're gonna sink our canines into this delicious delicatessen. Ooh, that crust is amazing. I'm guessing it's gonna be a little runny. I don't know. Maybe not. A little not bit. Bad. A little bit. Yeah, it is actually. It's warm. It's still hot. Yeah, it's still hot. Okay, Good. now the only thing that I'm missing is goat's milk. So, Justin, run and get me some goat's milk. I can't eat dry pie or anything. It's got to have fresh goat's milk. I'll take a bite just for grins. Mm. It's delicious. <laughs> Our goat just had babies, so we are just starting to get milk again, which is so awesome. We need some vanilla ice cream on that, too. Mm, that would be good. Mm. Awesome. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.